I'm Christer Stuhl. I'm a Sami from the north of Sweden. Levas Tjero, Oros Jokka, close to the town of Kiruna. And this story is a true story that happened to me. I was 20 years ago, in the mid-90s, in a small village, Amanes. And uh, they have a project of the Arctic fox going on there. And I was up there at the same time as some Arctic fox researchers were there. And I asked them, is it possible that the Arctic fox can kill a reindeer cows? And they said, no way. The Arctic fox is too small. I know some of the Yoik, the Sami Yoiking singing tradition, who describes the the way of the, how the Arctic fox can kill a reindeer cow. And they said, no way, that's not real knowledge. That's nothing to even think about. But I thought it must have happened if they sing this song. And the song goes like this. And the Arctic fox killed that reindeer cow. That's why the song was created. And the singer was Margareta Bengtsson. So I was got curious about this and uh, was thinking about uh, analyzing this text. Uh, she used the word uh, seat in plural, as uh, so this has happened many times. And I started to ask interview elders, Sami elders, and they told the story that uh, how the Arctic fox, he sneaks up and the reindeer doe were, were young ones, even didn't notice. And the Arctic fox come close to the reindeer doe and scare it. And this works only if the doe is very unexperienced. So the Arctic fox has to do it in the first 10 minutes. So this brings new perspectives that these natural scientists didn't even think about what the elders had to tell about the stories and what the songs brings a lot of knowledge. We had to care about our tradition, our, our oral traditions, our songs, our stories and pass them on to new generations because that's a way to share and take care of our traditional intangible knowledge.